Hey everyone, I wanted to give you a quick demo of a new feature we just released on Track Attack for iOS. Uh, you'll see this as 2.0.10, and uh, we uh, have it released on iOS uh, for both the full and the light version. Uh, we are working on this to be able to do it for Android and Windows Phone. Android is in progress, and Windows Phone, uh, we haven't begun it yet, just because it's uh, a lot more difficult to do it on Windows Phone. But the feature it's called is Video Export. And this is something that people have asked for for a while now is the ability to export the video file for a specific lap or a set or a whole session with the uh, video and the track uh, layer and data uh, combined. So what I'll show you here is uh, how to do it. Um, so you go into your session history and you find the session. Uh, what we have here is some uh, sessions from a, a Formula Drift competition that we were at uh, last month. And since this is a point-to-point -point, uh, type of a course, so that you'll see here is just the uh, uh, no laps, it's just one full session. So what you'll do is you'll go and you'll hit play, or if this is a lap-based session, you select the individual lap that you want to play. So when you play, you'll see the, uh, you'll see a new button here, which is a media kind of a film. And what you do there is you hit export. And basically, it's a warning here to let the let the app do its thing uh, while it's creating the new media file. So you hit continue. And once it's done processing, you see that it, it begins the export process. So then it'll put it over in your camera roll. Okay, then you can go over to your camera roll and let's see. And there it is. So now with this, you'll be able to go and upload it directly to Facebook or uh, edit it down and do whatever it is that you want with it.